The key in this project is to create a nice stopping showpiece. All of my designs work from a drawing into a three-dimensional foam core model so I can see what the form will look like and then I work with the final medium which in our case right here is dead dough and dead dough all it is is dough without yeast and some natural colors. I always start my designs from a drawing then develop it into a three-dimensional foam core model and then here we have the final concept. This is meant to be put into a window display to attract new customers so that will help increase your sales. So what we have here is a large piece of decorative dead dough. And what we're gonna do is build a little showpiece. We're gonna take these molds that are created by Michael Joy, and we're going to just emboss them into the actual dough. Next, we take a little bit of titanium dioxide and a little bit of turmeric. And we're going to just brush the top of this just to highlight that pattern a little bit. These are templates that I drew for this particular showpiece, and I'm just laying them out to see how much I can get out of one piece. So out of this dough, I can pretty much lay out my whole showpiece. Three parts that are gonna stand up on a base, um, and I wanna work with the same color palette for this one. What I do is I use an X-Acto blade, and I start cutting away at this. So one nice thing is when you have large shapes is to release some of the dough mass, it's going to prohibit bubbling on the finished piece and also is going to bake it quicker so I can get a much more rigid shape on the final product. One way to retain my shapes of cut out pieces, I lay them underneath my parchment paper, I pick the cut out shape up, and now any distortion I can recreate just using my bottom piece as a template. One thing you want to do though is, before you bake it, remove the template so they can reuse it for future projects. Once we've got all the pieces assembled on our sheet pans, you bake these at 320 degrees in a convection oven. Keep in mind, when you pull it out of the oven, these things are going to feel slightly soft to the touch.